So Black Rifle Coffee Company has been having some issues with the right wing of the party because there was an attempt, probably by Democrats more than likely, or some liberals, I should say, to align the Black Rifle Coffee Company with the far right because the far right gravitated to the Black Rifle Coffee Company because, you know, they're all about guns and we hate liberals type thing. So, naturally, that attracts the right wing. And so, you had people like the, the murderous little boy, what's his name, Rittenhouse or something like that. He had on a Black Rifle Coffee Company t-shirt and then there were some other little terrorists. He had one on too and so... Naturally, the Black Rifle Coffee Company was associated with extremists and the Goofy Boys. And so, Goofy Boys is a euphemism. I can't say their actual name, so draw your own conclusions. The Goofy Boys, they, had, they were, you know, supporting the Black Rifle Coffee Company too, and so naturally... Everybody said that the Black Rifle Coffee Company is okay with terrorists. And so their founders, who are, um, I think they're, are they active duty? And they're, they're veterans, basically. They came out and said, no, we hate these guys. We think they're stupid. We think they're evil. We think they're awful. We think they're ugly. <laughs> you know, the whole bit. Because while, yes, we are... We don't really care for liberals and this bleeding heart business. We are not extremists. We are not terrorists. We don't hate. We're not racist. We're not all that type of stuff. We just, we don't care for, you know, liberals, basically. And so, the GOP, well, not the GOP, well, some of them, and the right wing said, you know, screw Black Rifle Coffee Company then. So, will they survive an onslaught by the GOP and other right-wingers who say you should have been with us and the Goofy Boys and the Quacker Nons and all these people? That you should be on our side. Because I, I, I guess that, I would assume that not many Democratic people frequent the Black Rifle Coffee Company. So, are they hurting their customer base? Let's see. Will they survive this? Six of Cups and the Ten of Wands. Um, proclaiming your innocence is going to place a burden, but this is not something you can't overcome. So, let's see. Queen of Cups, there is support the chariots with that support is the five of one so we are we are having a battle though the chariot and the world the progression the big picture there may need to be actually you know what no you stick to your guns on this one um, if you want to be anti-liberal you be anti-liberal but there's there's going to be some fight amongst your support amongst your supporters because, you know, how dare you not be a fan of hatred. Five of Pentacles. Now we're talking, you know, poverty, but this is the devil. So they may have a concerted effort to try to do you in. Seven of Swords, there's your, your schemes and your lies, and the judgment. So yes, you will lose a chunk of your customer base, how and ever. That does not mean you go out of business. It just means that you won't have this in particular customer base. And I am pretty sure, I don't speak for the Black Rifle Company Company, obviously, but I'm pretty sure they're okay with losing your in particular business. So, But there is going to be some sort of scheme to try to drive a wedge between you and other right-wing supporters. But everybody is not Quackernon, everybody is not Goofy Boy, so you'll be fine. 
anyways for now.